Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our folktale series. Now in the previous episodes we have completed the uh, massive reservoir here, but also we've redesigned, redesigned our transportation network here with the logs and, uh, and also the, the bakeries over in this location, which seems to be going pretty well. I have left the uh, game running for a few days just to get those log piles filled up. I really wish they were more like Iron Teeth, where we could stack them, it's just pretty annoying. They got so much space, but anyways. Yep, so we've got the logs that we need, and then the, the goal in this episode is to start um, making some more power using the water wheels. We do have quite a bit of power, I mean, the demand is about 2180, and we're... Well, it really depends on the wind, we're almost matching the demand, but it's not quite enough, so... If Pull up the plans real quick. This is kind of where we are gonna, yeah, uh, extend our power network. And quite a few of you did mention that we should um, leave this lake or the reservoir as it is. So I agree. Um, uh, I have built, if we can please have a quick look. We had a few platforms already in place, but I deleted everything else that was planned in here. But um, I do agree, it uh, for some reason looks very, very nice, lovely, peaceful. So we'll leave it as it is and we'll do the wheels on the side instead. And so I've queued up a couple of tasks over here. And I think I'll give them a bit of a priority going this way and across as well. Because we do have to take out all those trees in here. Uh, let me just quickly, if I can. And, oh, it's a bit of a struggle, but we've got it. All right, and now highest priority for for all of them. Uh, fantastic. And then I suppose we'll do the same. Give you a slightly high priority for the for the levies, and that's gonna take quite a bit of time. Uh, let's uh, let's quickly check. We have a few logs left in here, so using that little trick let's move the road over now this district over here has access to 660 logs and another 120 this should be let's see blanks not in this one yeah a few more blanks in there and we do have a spare warehouse here as well i'm really hoping uh can you please uh, it's gonna take a bit of time but we've got some spare blanks in this one too and i think what we should do here don't really want to store everything. Yeah, we'll fill it up with blanks as well. Now, uh, let's see. Any unemployed here? No. We're going to have to move some more beavers into this district to speed up the construction efforts. Uh, yeah, it's taking quite a bit of time. Now, I have done a few more updates uh, or upgrades, should I say, between, um, between episodes. So one of them being... Uh, logs we it takes a very long time to fill up these log piles so i thought well why don't we just put down some maples here and maybe just have a couple of beers that can produce us some uh, uh some more logs uh, locally so that's what we're going for then let's have a look i think everything here is the same now in this section I put in additional staircase because for the past, I think about 20 or 15 episodes, this area has been, I just did not know what to do with this area. And um, looking at the access now, I put in those stairs and um, now we have again access to all these maples here, which is fantastic. Got another forester and oh, okay, so someone is already working here, which is great. We are just going to need... I think you can come out now, can't you? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we are just going to need a couple of flags somewhere. And I'm thinking they should probably go right next to next to that one to reach everything. So yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll put a couple of flags there. Maybe give you a slightly high priority as well. And then um, we can bring up the water again. A uh, couple of dams in here just to store a bit more, a bit more water in this section, and then we have a little bridge going across as well to 
to get into this lovely little forest. And... And yeah, um, I'm gonna start figuring out how to move this, this district across somewhere else. And then maybe perhaps how to keep this filled up as well. That would be lovely. I think uh, it should be doable if we raise the water level on one of the sides. Because we definitely don't want to get rid of this. This has a, a deeper meaning to us. And um, yeah, that was to celebrate our 1000 mark for subscribers. Right, have a quick uh, look in this section or district as well. Uh, that was the, the Hamster Dam. And very minor change, but uh, I moved away from that checkered style of uh, doing forestry. And I've just highlighted everyone or all the trees now. And we got one forester that is planting trees in here. Um, actually, I'll speed up the time because it's night time. Then we have the river that is now flowing nicely through and we're not flooding this area anymore. I think we can put more trees in here, can't we? Yes, we can. So why don't we just... But you know what, let's just leave it. I think we've got plenty of logs here. Yeah, they're filled up all the way. Alright, that's uh, I think all the upgrades. Now another thing I'd like to do is... Looking at the well-being. It's, um, it's not really, really great. So what we can do... Uh, I think I had scheduled this one in. Or planned it in, but I haven't built it yet, and it takes 400 planks. Now, in this district, I believe we got 1,700, so I think now is the time when we build it. And this is such a great location, because pretty much 95% of the housing is in this area over here. Uh, so that's, uh, that is good. We'll let them crack on with this. It's going to take a little bit of time. And now, let's take a quick look. Okay, so they've emptied already the first one pretty much and they're getting more planks as well okay so yeah planks is gonna be what we need the most how is it going the stairs are almost complete and i think over over here could bring yeah let's bring the road across just for the time being and then uh, maybe the stairs down and then the road across as well. Okay, let's have a look at the priorities. Uh, I really hope they are... Now, let's get this done first. But I'd say this could be a bit of a priority as well. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, I'll leave it on three times speed. And uh, what we'll also do is... There was a couple of name suggestions for this district. And the more I think about it, I know in all the previous episodes I was saying that this is just a temporary area and it's going to um, disappear. But I think we're past the denial phase now. I think this is going to be a permanent district somewhere somewhere here because we already got a couple of things invested in here. And and um, I'm, I'm starting to quite like this spot here. Uh, all we gotta do is, once this area is built, then we can move the district center a little bit over. Maybe more towards the centralized area, maybe even up here. That way we can still access all the log piles and also these plateaus over, over here. And then what I was thinking is, um, calling this, I think we had the suggestion for Stockholm, which was pretty cool. Uh, if I remember correctly, the direct translation was a city on on top of logs so that seems like a very fitting name for for one of the districts so thank you very much for this suggestion and um but when it comes to this district over here and the future plans for it i think um i i was quite in favor for specialized districts but then thinking about it all this hauling um takes quite a Quite a bit of time. I mean, if it's some smaller things and we don't need larger quantities, then fair enough. We can do a specialized district and move and trade. But when it comes to things like, for example, these logs, it took them quite a few days just to fill them up. And they're going to burn through pretty quickly. So I think with certain resources like trees, 
we're probably going to produce them locally as, as much as possible. Maybe even food as well. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, going to try and get their well-being up as well. The next, I guess the most annoying one is probably campfire. And finding space in some of our districts um, where to slot some more campfires in. But we'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. And what I'll do now is I'll quickly pause it so it can move over. Uh, what I'll do is I will move over. Well, basically, I'm going to do some off camera work. I will let them build this up a little bit, move some beavers over. And then once we got a few things in place, then we'll, we'll jump right back. All right. After many, many days and cycles, I think it took us probably maybe like two cycles because we had uh, at least two trouts. But here's the uh, here's the results. And um, quite a quite a few uh, water wheels over here. How many is it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 26 in total in a row. And right now we are starting to build a second second layer. So each time we expand, it's going to go one level lower. And I don't think we're going to need this much power. But do you know what? We'll do it just because we can. And um, yeah, that's what it what it looks like. Basically, all of this, if I start bringing it down a little bit, is built on platforms. And um, over here, we've got the power uh, cords running underneath the platform. So we still have a bit of access in the middle for uh, for maintenance should we should we need it. And um, let's have a look. What are they doing here? Oh, uh, pull up the blueprints again. And uh, here is the same thing. We've got the platforms in, and uh, underneath we've uh, got the power shafts. And yeah, the another drought has just ended, so we should be getting the water built up very, very shortly. In uh, here, what I've done is I've put a fence in the middle and some more trees underneath. Because I noticed that some of those lumberjack flags were going over to this side to cut down the trees. And that's uh, that's not ideal. We'd want to have these lumberjacks cut them all down and then leave the trees in, in this district. Um, quick, um, I think I remembered the translation for Stockholm incorrectly before. So what uh, what it was, it's a, it's a log peninsula. Yeah. Um, so just to clarify that, I had to quickly look it up because I knew I, I remembered it uh, incorrectly. And another thing, since the drought has just finished, we are going to change these over as well. Do we have enough logs in this district right now? Yes, we do. So do you know what? Let's take them out. We'll put levees and dams on top of it. And please have them built. ASAP. Uh, right, we put a few levees on the other side as well, just to keep some more water in inside here. Yes, we are draining it out right now, but in the future, we should be able to now hold at least two levels. And I think we should we'll probably do the same in, in here. I was thinking of um, getting rid of those triple floodgates and swapping them over with, um, let's have a look. Uh, with with dams. Now to do that, uh, all that water that will drain out. Some of it will be coming this way as well. I was thinking of creating another river section here. So by having a few dynamites, we'll blast our way through to get create a some sort of a canal. And then the same in here. I think what will make more sense is if we. Yeah, we should probably blast it down one more level on this side as well. So let's just put a couple of dynamites in. Yeah, that should be good. And once they cut down these trees as well, we'll be able to do the, do the same straight all the way through. And I'll put a couple of uh, bad boys in here as well just to bring this level down one more level. Uh, wait. That makes sense. Um, yeah, just to bring it down one more level. So let's detonate 
couple of these. So now the water level, I want to have it at least um, too deep. And we'll do the same on that side. A uh, couple more. Beautiful. Should be able to put the last of them in as well. Uh, great. You are empty, so you know what? Let's just open you up again. And things seem to be great. Now we've got a bit more access to these trees in here, so that's beautiful. Oh, did we... Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, we got a bit of water stored. Is there anyone constructing that section there? Hello, beavers. Um, wait, I don't think we have any more logs. No, we don't. And uh, that is okay. We'll swap you over. This, this, and that. Beautiful. Now we got more logs. Can we please have this? Ah, uh, then there's more water. Great. But can someone please build this, please? Fruity, please? They're all going this side. Um. Okay. Uh, do you know what? We'll bring the priority down. On a couple of them. Sure. Okay, there we go. Now we finally have a few beavers going over. Okay, so that's great. We're not going to have a water crisis in... Do you know what? We'll do it. Yep, we're going to change the name. I think this su suggestion came from Victor Peterson. So... Stock... Oh, we had the caps on. Stock home is going to be District 7. I mean, in some ways, this bit here is kind of like a peninsula. And this would have been as well, but since we are having a river run through, so I guess technically it's more like an island now. But uh, nonetheless, thank you, Victor, for uh, suggesting this. I think it sounds pretty, uh, pretty fitting name. For our district, right... What else? We got a bit of a noti notification here. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score of 13. Well, you look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got the couple of monuments in as well before we left. Uh, we started building the Flame of Progress. And I also threw... Put this in. Um, the Labor uh, Monument here. And then I decided to do the same on this side. So we've got a Flame of Progress and the Labor Monument and a couple of... Uh, they're not able to reach all the way there. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, we would have been able to... Right, that's okay. Let's move them down. Just a couple of campfires for our beavers as well. Okay, let's uh, shift our focus back over there. Oh, we've got a few dynamites in here already. Well, that's not bad. And how about... Are they able to build this? Maybe. Maybe we'll do a couple more. And then... You know what? No one's here. Let's... Yep. There we go. Looking beautiful. And what would also be lovely is if we had... A couple of dams in here, actually. Yeah, just to... Well... Probably want to have two. We might dynamite this section here as well. And then... All this should be... Good. Yep, we need two in the corner bit. So one more there. I think, yeah. Yeah, let's do like that. And then we'll go down once the... Devour through the last of those trees there. We'll put a triple speed again. Uh, what's the progression on here? Okay, just need to construct the last dam. Sweet, so that is great. Now... Mm -mm -mm. Would love love to expand on onto these sections there as well. But we are going to need... I'd like to connect them up with a couple of bridges. Maybe one going through here. Yeah, and then maybe one from all the way up there would be actually cool as well. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got time for, for these upgrades. 
let's get a have a quick look at uh what's happening no are we spilling all the water yes we are i think uh let's see we'll raise the level a little bit and while you look at that mm, okay i think the highest it's gone was a bit over five thousand but once it fills up all the way to the top and this starts okay now it's starting to go through as well all right what's our production now six thousand six hundred well okay it's six eight well that's not bad at all yeah once we get this section done here as well i think i'll power production is just gonna go through the roof that is pretty crazy and then we'll need to let's see lower from here we need to get rid of those levees okay that's looking good but we can leave it for the time being a uh, bit of extra access for them and we're starting to raise this section here because what i was thinking i was thinking to raise the main section by another couple and then um what I'd like to do is, when it's drought, then uh, maybe have a couple of levees, I don't know, somewhere around here maybe? And then um, that means during droughts when there's no wind, we could um, lower the levees or one at a time to create this artificial flow again to have a bit more power. But uh, overall, this is looking, yeah, that's looking good. We are still... They're pretty fast, I'd say. Uh, no one's gotten stuck yet, so that's good, I suppose. And let's have a look. Uh, do we still have... Oh, we've run out of logs again. Yeah, logs is definitely an issue. There aren't too many in the main district. Or should I say Beaverly Hills? Cause that's the name of that one. Uh, let's just rearrange a couple of those roads. Maybe we can get some more logs going that way. But now looking at dynamite. Do we get a few more in? No, they are still waiting. Okay, well that's uh, that's alright. Maybe we'll give you a high priority. And you know what? We'll take out that corner there as well. <sighs> okay. I think you can probably go already. And then we'll just have to, yeah, figure this out here a bit as well. Have you done all these dynamites? Well, a couple of them are done, which we can already detonate. And you know what? We'll give you a slightly higher priority as well. Other than that, that's looking good. Should probably get rid of those levees here too. And sticking dams instead if we wanted to keep some more water in here then i suppose it would make sense if we bring you from from about here let's do about four uh this river is gonna come come down here um i don't know maybe something like that it's gonna come out uh yep that that's all right for starters Put a few roads in there as well. We'll see if they can reach all the way. Ah, oh, there might be. Okay, so that's not bad. Now we're getting those dynamites in. I think we are slowly... Oh, really lags on three times speed. Okay, just one more. Uh, they can probably reach it from there as well, can't they? Ah, uh, never mind. Here's the last dynamite. And as soon as it's done, we can... Blast it off. Uh, ooh, that was loud. Okay, one more bit. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter, actually. Yeah, let's just leave it. We'll have a look at the rest of them. There's a couple more. Okay. At least now they can't get through. Which I think is good. Um, not sure how many dynamites. Oh, we still have loads in here. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, plenty to choose from. And that is wonderful. While well, you look at that. Nice and green. All this water filling up these lakes as well. Uh, are we still filling this up? No, we're not. But I think in the future we'll probably carve some sort of a channel through here as well in case we 
need a bit of overflow. Uh, wheels are running. These are coming along quite nicely. So, so yeah, I think with the rest of this, what I'll do is I'll finish this off uh, off camera. And then we can have another another layer in place. Do we need to... Oh no, that's the right height. Yeah, and then we just have to plop down a whole bunch of more water wheels. Is this... Uh, oh yeah, it's... Um, obviously it's not filling up because we don't have some of those walls yet. Uh, but that's okay. I think that is where we are going to finish off this episode at. And in the, uh, in the next one, well... I know I plan to close this episode out, but uh, it just feels so difficult, difficult to let go. Um, oh, I do also remember there are quite a few people actually. Yeah, I was surprised about the amount of comments that have mentioned about the experimental branch as well. So just so you know, I'm fully aware that uh, it's there, but I was sort of initially hoping or thinking not to go into experimental um, because I was a little bit worried about well putting it into into one of our current worlds but I suppose you know we can just obviously save it give it a try if it doesn't work out then at least we're we can always revert back to the original but um, uh, second option was obviously to start a new world uh, but I was just thinking, oh, I don't know, we've got two walls running already. Anyways, long story short, I guess I'll put up a poll or a bit of a vote to see uh, how much interest there is for us to jump onto the experimental and, and see what it's like, uh, whether it's a new world or or maybe implementing it in, in one of those ones. But um, yeah, that's uh, anyways my two cents about about that. Would love to. Uh, lots of uh, fun things that I do want to try as well. But anyways, let's see how the world goes and uh, then, we'll, then we'll decide. But yeah, thank you very much for uh, sticking with us. I hope it's been fun and um, keep your suggestions coming as well. And then we'll, we'll see how we can take this or the other episodes uh, in which direction. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I do hope to see you again in the next one.